In this video, we're going to complete example two. In this particular example, we're going to find that two edges will start and end at the same vertex. And we're going to talk about why in this situation, we might need to use a dummy activity. So let's get right into the example. We're going to convert the following president's table into a network diagram. So we need a vertex where we're going to start. So a starting vertex. And we can see that activity A doesn't have any immediate predecessors. So that one's going to come out from the start vertex. We'll call that edge A. You might notice that both activities B and C come after activity A. So we need to complete activity A with a vertex and both activities B and C come out from that vertex. Next you'll notice that activity D comes immediately after activities B and C. So we need activities B and C to connect to the same vertex. And once they are complete, activity D can come out from there. And then we need a vertex to show the completion of this project. So some of you might be wondering, why would I need a dummy activity in this situation? Well, we can see that our two edges that start and end at the same vertex are edges B and C. They both start at this vertex we can see here, and they both end at the same vertex as well. So why is this a problem? Well, in order to draw the edges B and C, which start and end at the same vertex, one or both of them has to be curved. If they were both straight, they would go over the top of one another. Now, some people don't mind this. Some people don't mind curved edges, but some people don't like that. They want to keep all their edges straight. And this is where a dummy activity can come in handy. So I'm going to start by making one of the edges straight. We'll start with edge C. I can make that straight edge, but I can't do that to activity B, otherwise it will go over the top of edge C. But what I can do is I can put a vertex to show the completion of B, and then put a dummy activity joining that vertex to the end of edge C. Since the weight of the dummy activity is zero, having these two edges here is equivalent to having just a single edge. Now activities B and C are the immediate predecessors of activity D without either of them being a curved edge. Anyway, that concludes example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.